look where I am, look at the conditions. This is northern Kosciuszko at its finest. And I'm out here today on foot. I'm out here to play with a new lens that I got last year and I want to get some photos of the wild horses, the Brumbies. Now, next week they're actually closing all of northern Kosciuszko to do some aerial shooting to sort of cull the population and, and I really want to get some nice photos before they do that. So Sarah and I have walked out here today. Didn't really film too much, I just wanted to get to camp and now we're over here at Bill Jones Hut. Collected um, some firewood, I've collected some water, I've got the tent set up. Sarah's over there just relaxing and I'm out here in this beautiful afternoon light trying to get some photos of Brumbies. Now, there's a few around but they're miles out in the distance so it's um, going to be a little bit tricky. It is a 400 millimeter lens but they're a long way away so let's go for a bit of a walk and see what we can find. This sun is so perfect at the moment. It's bright talking into a camera but conditions beautiful. I just got some not too bad shots. It's um, it's kind of intimidating though. They keep like doing their little <laughs> at me, <laughs> and I'm just walking around on the planes, and it feels like they're going to run at me. And I meant to bring my GoPro to film myself taking photos, and I left it back at the tent, which is a bit annoying. So let's just pretend I'm taking photos. <laughs> there they go. So cool. kind of tricky to get them all in like a really nice photo without shrubs in the way or the, the dip of the hills. Oh, I kind of want to go get my GoPro but the sun's dropping and I think by the time I get back out here Game over. All right, I've decided not to go get the GoPro. I might try again in the morning with it. But for now, I'm just gonna walk over to these shrubs, get a little bit closer and see if I can get a better shot. Sarah's back at camp and she's probably worried about me. I told her I wouldn't be long. Usual story. I get obsessed with taking photos. <laughs> I love it. All right, I've decided to give up on that. They're just getting further and further away now. And as you can see, that sun behind me is getting pretty low. So I'm just going to come over and just take a photo looking down at the plains. It is um, some pretty nice light at the moment. There's no wind today. It's been quite hot walking. Funny story, very first shot of the day, hit go on the uh, camera and about five seconds later a bloody snake just comes like jumping out at Sarah. Got it on camera so I'm glad I hit record for that one. It was very cool. Well, it was cool to capture. <laughs> Yuck. And I was filming too. How good is that? Snake. First shot of the trip and there's a snake. Nice. <laughs> I'm so happy I got that. Wow, very first shot. I just pulled the camera out. Nice planes. Dirty snake. Oh, heart's racing. Now I don't know how to get past. I reckon we get the poles out. Just like, just so we've got something to... 
like, you know, some sort of weapon. And hold that. Hello. Hello. I'm reading. <laughs> How's your walk? Terrifying. Was it? <laughs> I had Brumbies like walking towards me with gum. <laughs> What an absolutely stunning morning. Very interesting night though. We're on the side of the plains here and during the week I was talking to a friend of mine who actually camped on the plains last weekend and they said that there's like wild dogs all throughout the plains here and they weren't wrong. All night he just had this howling from all directions. The closest one seemed like it was up behind Bill Jones' hut here. It's kind of terrifying. And then the horses would come in, you'd hear them like bashing through trees. We did not get a lot of sleep last night. But that's okay to wake up to this beauty. <laughs> but I'll overlay some sounds over the top of this footage that I recorded this morning. Right now it's just the sound of the birds. Very peaceful. Sarah's actually still in bed. She didn't get a lot of sleep, neither did I, so she's um, just, yeah, relaxing. And we also had a couple of guys turn up on bikes yesterday, which had seen some of my videos in the past. They had asked me if I'd heard dogs like that before and never. It's pretty crazy. But now I'm awake and alive. <laughs> it was cool. Edward's morning fog. Well, this morning, <laughs> I've got my action camera. I'm gonna go try and find some Brumbies again and actually show you what I'm doing with this big mothership. <laughs> I can't really see any though, so who knows where they are. I might just go straight across the plains. That moon's pretty cool too. I don't know if that's why the dogs are out howling. I don't know, maybe that's just a wolf thing. Pretty sure the dogs are more like a, a dingo type of species. I have no idea actually, but... <laughs> that's what they look like anyway. One did come up near camp yesterday and Sarah took a couple of photos, but um, the settings were, she didn't realize the shutter speed was super slow because it was getting kind of dark. So they're just blurry photos. Do these horses sleep? Maybe they're asleep now. Yeah, I can't see any. Not even one. All right, I can see some horses straight out in the distance. Well, it is super pretty out here this time of the morning. But I think I'll go and get Sarah out of bed because this is the best time of the day. And we should probably have some breakfast and get on our way 
today's plans was to leave the tent set up um, at Bill Jones, hike down to Clark's Gorge and check that out, come back and either stay here again the night, um, it was sort of depending whether I got any horse photos, um, or go back and camp at Old Karango, and that way Sunday morning we've only got a short little hike back to the car. <laughs> she might have changed her mind now after last night. She might be like, let's get the hell out of here. And I wouldn't blame her. It was kind of scary last night. Let's go find out. Um, I'm just finally got coffee. <laughs> the guys are back. Hmm? The other guys have left. I'm experimenting with another form of coffee contraption. No idea what I'm doing. Sure you don't want a coffee? No, thanks. I think there's a bumby through the, right down the middle of the track there, on the other side. So the big question is, what do you want to do today? Um, After last night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You still happy to go down to Clark's Gorge? Oh yeah. Is there a way we can get out without having to do? You're not recording this conversation, are you? Yeah. So how do you do this? Do you just put it like that? I normally have a like plate. A I normally have a plate. Oh. <laughs> I think it'd still be really cool to go down to Clark's Gorge. Yeah. Um, it's just whether you're happy to camp like we did last night. Um, I felt safe knowing those guys were here. There was just something comforting about knowing they were there. What, that they're going to get attacked first? <laughs> no, but like, you know. Alright, decision's been made. We're leaving the tent here. And we are going to walk to Clark's Gorge, which was the original plan. Hopefully the tent's all good. Sarah's going empty. I'm bringing my backpack, all of our, all our food, so no dogs try and break into the tent. And all our water and everything. So, a bit later than we had planned. It's already heating up. It's pretty warm out here. Anyway, let's go to Clark's Gorge. I kind of want to see like a big eagle or something. Mm. They look like eagles or something. Yeah. Too big. Long way away, but. This is gliding around up there. Clears the water, so nice. How cool is that? I think we need to get a selfie right here. Yeah?
How beautiful is Clark's Gorge? It's um, very scenic and today is the Easter long weekend and it's beautiful weather so there's lots of people around but it's so cool. I can see why so many people come here. It's awesome taking photos in here too. I'm not sure if Brumby photos or Clark's Gorge photos are going to be my favourite of this trip. <laughs> We're on the walk back now and coming out into the plains. On the lookout for some more Brumbies to take photos of. There's some kangaroos actually. Sarah has just spotted a horse on the other side of this hill. Camera time. Alright, sneak up on him. running hard now. We've got a couple of photos. Still not the nicest lighting. I think when the sun drops a bit more it'll look nicer. You know what, even if I don't get a nice photo of the horses, just being here in this moment right now is worth it. Have a go at these open plains, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I love it so much. And this afternoon light is just ridiculous. It's so funny. Every time I've come on these trips, the amount of horses I see, it's ridiculous. And the one time I come with a big lens to try and photograph them, it's the one time I haven't really had like heaps of them or heaps of them really close. Birds up there. Try and get a photo. Wrong settings. Some galas, maybe. Oh no, though. Oh, they're cockatoos. They're black cockatoos with a red head. What are they? They're red cockatoos, I suppose. That's cool. It's very cool. The horses over there, it looks like they've got a couple of little fowls or whatever they're called, like the little youngs. So they seem kind of a bit protective. So out there, a long way away, there's the camera lens. Way out in the distance. If I look at the camera, you see that at all? The two, too dark. I'm tempted to walk a, a bit closer, but I also don't want to disturb them. I don't know. I kind of want them to just come to me. It's almost time for a beer, though. 
getting thirsty. I'll go as far as these bushes over here. They might run before I get there though. Now it's hide behind these bushes. Alright, I got some alright shots, I think. It's gonna have to do because I don't want to keep annoying the Brumbies and it's beer o'clock and I've got a special beer to share with you. Alright, it's beer o'clock, but I decided to wait until the sun dropped down so we had some colour in the background for this shot. And this is my humongous beer that I've got to drink, but there's a story behind it and I thought before I open it I've got to tell the story. Last month I did a ride from Mossvale to Kiama, and if you have watched it you would have seen the guy Tom, he picked me up and drove me back to my car which was pretty awesome. Anyway, he was a complete stranger. Well. Last week he was uh, asking me about my handlebars on the bike and it turns out when I bought those handlebars I actually bought two pairs exactly the same because freight reasons it was just better to do that. Do that. Well he asked me what they were and I thought why don't I give him the handlebars so I said to him do you want the handlebars because you gave me a lift I'll give you the handlebars. Well I went to drop them off he was already asleep it was quite late and he said to just leave him on the bull bar of his car. So I went to do that, and on the bull bar was this humongous beer and some Easter eggs. So Tom, you're an absolute legend. This beer is ridiculously massive. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go drink it around the campfire now. But I just wanted to film something and say thank you. So, cheers. That is seriously the biggest beer ever. Delicious. 960 mils of goodness. The real reason I've come down here to film it is everyone else is sitting around the fire and it's too awkward filming things like this. But this backdrop's pretty nice. And there's Brumbies in the shot. Perfect. This beer is humongous. Very close to camp before. Um. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> you know, skittish horse kind of went round the back, and I'm like, I'm not scary, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Can I offer anyone some beer? You have such a baby beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to pour it just so you can feel the girth of it? <laughs> oh, that is that is quite camp. Oh, ooh, what? That, that must be that one then. Yeah. And the yeah. bottom too. All right, see you, Paul. Hi. Well, good morning. Early start for us today. We're trying to get back to the car before it gets too hot, so we have packed up nice and early 
and now we're walking the plains in the fog. So pretty. This is a really cool idea. <laughs> anyway, I think this is pretty much going to be the end of this little video. This is a short one about trying to capture those brumbies. So thanks for watching. Happy Easter. <laughs> oh, well, I just heard a brumby. <laughs> Maybe the video hasn't finished. Where is it? The fog's too thick. Oh, there they are. They're running up there. Oh, I wish I had my bigger lens on. That'd be so cool. Actually, I'm going to swap lenses. There's going to be more to this video. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They're gone. So, the brumbies were in the si silhouetted by the sun, which would have been cool, but I was too slow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>